The idea of meditation is to identify with the all-perfect, whole, higher self and bridge the gap to the divine. The nature of the divine self is represented in one of the Upanishads in Vedic scriptures by the two birds and a tree. Imagine life is a huge tree with far-reaching branches and roots sinking deep into matter. This tree is fed by the sap of the absolute life force. The trunk of the tree is formed by karma and gathered through many incarnations. The branches produce twigs, buds, leaves, flowers and fruit formed from the experiences and impressions in life. The leaves grow, mature, stay a while contributing to the upkeep of the tree and then drop off. In the same way experiences happen, stay a while, mature and fall away leaving an impression and impact on the growth of the tree. Flowers and blossoms grow and develop into fruit, mature then fall away also leaving an impact on the tree. The flowers and fruit are the results of the actions. At the top of the tree, but not supported by or depending upon it, is a beautiful bird, self-illuminated, self-sufficient and self-contained. This bird is always blissful and complete and radiating brilliant light illuminating the whole tree below it. The bird never leaves its throne of heavenly glory. It has no need, no desires, no wants. It has everything. There is another bird, similar in appearance, which lives in the body of the tree. It has no fixed place and moves constantly hopping from one branch to another this bird is always hungry. Every moment it spends in looking for and eating and tasting sweet fruits. When it tastes sweet fruits, it feels temporary pleasure, but as quickly as the pleasure comes, it goes. It is empty and hungry for more. Occasionally, it eats a bit of fruit which makes it stop and look around for something better. While still in shock of the bitterness, it looks up and sees the heavenly light and longs to be filled with that, be like that, become whole and satisfied from within. Then it recovers and it forgets about the other bird and gets distracted again in its pursuit of sweet fruits and instant pleasures. The more bitter fruits it finds, the closer it spirals up towards the heavenly bird above. And the, the closer it gets, the less it searches for fruits outside of itself. At last, the bird gets so close to the higher bird and more and more relaxed and easy that the upper bird begins to have an impact on the personality of the bird and begins to merge with it. Finally, the bird becomes absorbed into the higher one and loses its separate existence. There is now only one bird. The bird realises that the lower bird was just a shadow of itself and it was just an illusion that there ever were two. The higher bird was the only one that was true. The higher bird was the real self and it took no active part in the development of the tree. The lower bird is our mental and physical selves and is just a shadow of the higher one. We can use this image to get into a position of relaxation and meditation to help us identify with our true selves and to know that you are the witness self 
and that you are not this body or this mind. The body and mind are part of you, but do not define you. I am separate, ever independent, and the mind and body are a product of me and do not define me. I am the witness of appearances and personality experiences on the physical plane of which I take no part. I am eternally blissful, self-illuminated, perfection, whole and absolute. I am that illuminated bird. Hold your consciousness on the higher bird. Allow the mind to wander in thought freely and eat fruits whilst always being watched by the higher self. The bird will become slower and become still and long to go home. Practice this visualisation as much as possible every spare moment you can remember. Speak the words in your mind, I am that, remembering the whole story. These thoughts can place you into a peaceful space within, bringing the truth of who you are into your life and eventually it will become part of your system as naturally as breathing. May it bring you back home where you belong. Thank you for listening.